What a beautiful day it is today. Look at this flower. It smells wonderful. Hello, little froggy. How are you? Do you want to play with me? Little froggy, don't run away. I want to play with you. Little froggy. Where are you? Don't be afraid. I just want to play with you. Where could it have gone? Little froggy! Little froggy! Are we playing hide and seek? Uh. Olga, Milo, something terrible has happened. What happened? Momo hasn't eaten her afternoon snack. And what's so terrible about that? Momo never misses eating her afternoon snack. It would be like one morning the sun not coming out. Well, what's more, I've been looking for her for the past three hours and can't find her anywhere. I agree, that is a problem. We need to go and look for her right now. But where will we look for her? We should split up and look in different places. But it would take too long to find her. I think it would be best for all of us to take the train and go look for her all together. What a great idea, Milo. Let's go right now. My friends, today we're taking the train. Everyone ready? Then off we go! Little Froggy! If you're still playing hide and seek, forget it because I'm tired now. Who in the world goes in the forest without knowing where to go? I think I'm lost. Now I'll never see my friends again. Poor little me. Hello, little cow. Why are you so sad? I got lost in the forest. I saw you in the garden and wanted to play with you, but you went so fast and I thought you were playing a game. But following you, I got lost. I see. Well, you do have a problem, and it's a big one. I already know that. Do you want me to help you get out of here? And how are we going to do that? We don't know the way home. I already know that, but we can look for it together. That sounds very good to me. Wonderful, a brilliant idea. Is it a game? So where do we start? Well, we'll start by walking and you'll see everything will turn out fine. I'll follow you. Moo, moo. Where are you? Moo Moo! I think I should blow the train whistle so that she knows we're here. I don't think she's around here. Maybe we should go and search somewhere else. You're right, Alfred. We're going, friends. Hold on tight. <laughs> Moo moo! Moo moo! Moo moo! Maybe she went to live with the sheep and we'll never see her again. Don't say that, Alfred. I'm sure we're gonna find Moo. Don't you worry. We've been walking for a long time now and we haven't seen anything. I think we're almost there. Don't you worry. Can I stay here and sleep with you if we don't find my friend soon? Well, of course you can. Yay! But I hope you like sleeping in the water. Huh? Sleep in the water? I'd rather sleep in a nice dry bed. I'm not an aquatic cow. Frogs usually like being in the water and sometimes we sleep in it. But there are times when we sleep on land. We'll find a spot for you. Thank you, little froggy. Hmm, it would be nice to find something for dinner. Milo, blow the whistle again! Moo, moo! Moo, moo! Are you here? I don't think she's here either. Well, if she's not here, I don't think we'll find her today. We'd have to sleep out in the open. I think it would be better if we went home. What's that noise? <gasps> that must be my friends who are looking for me! The noise Yay! is coming from over there! Let's hurry up before they leave! Moo, moo. 
It would be faster if instead of running, mm -hmm. you jump the way I do. Okay. <clears throat> run, little froggy. They're leaving. Uh, you go. You run faster alone. Follow the path and you'll be there right away. Goodbye, little froggy. Thank you. Don't leave me here all alone. Poor Moo Moo. She'll be all by herself tonight. Loneliness, hunger, cold. Wait for me! Don't go! Rita! Hey, hold on, hold on! I hear something! <gasps> Rita! Thank you for coming to rescue oh, me! You really gave us quite a scare, Mumu! I'm so sorry, friends! I'll never go alone into the forest, I promise you! I love you all so much! And we love you, Mumu! Why don't we do something, huh? Yeah, but what should we do? Go down the slide again? I've got it. Why don't we try playing some sports? Great idea. It's been a long time since I went running, swimming, or done any exercise at all. Why don't we have a mini Olympics? We could create a track and compete against each other. Whoever wins will get crowned with a laurel leaf crown and will get a gold medal. Milo, you're the best. What a terrific idea. But you can't participate. You've got a sprained foot. Don't worry about me. I'll be the judge and Talala will help me from the sky. We'll get everything ready and then tell the others. Dear competitors of the first Happit's official Olympic Games, the rules of the game are as follows. First, you have to run one lap around the track. Then, you must swim in the Olympic swimming pool. And finally, you will have to jump these hurdles until you reach the finish line. Talalo and I will be the judges. To make sure that none of you will cheat, and I'm talking about you, Rita. Today, I promise not to cheat very much. What do you mean, not very much? You cannot fool us, Rita. Understood. No cheating at all. The judges will be watching, and if we see any cheating, you will be eliminated. Nobody likes a cheater. On your mark, now everybody gets set. Ready? Go! What an action-packed race! This is gonna be a hard-fought battle. They've already run more than halfway around the track and are approaching the finish line. Mumu looks like she's the fastest up to now. She's got a clear advantage over the others. Olga and Alfred are even, and Rita is in last place. Now they've got to dive into the water. What a great dive by Mumu! Such style! Rita is quickly catching up with the others. They're reaching the end of the pool, and they're arriving all together. Who will win? Who will win? Who 
at the first hurdle. Everyone is even. Third hurdle. Oh no! Mumu is tripped and has fallen behind. Alfred is in the lead. But what is this? Mumu is catching up at full speed. And they reached the finish line. It was so close that we don't know who won. Everyone's exhausted. I won, I won, I'm the best. Rita, we need to see the photo finish to see who won. As soon as it's ready, we can see it. Here we go. And the winner of the first Happit's official Olympics is... of all. The fastest, the strongest, I'm the most incredible cow in the world. And the most tired cow. But the winner. You know what, Rita? When I'm older, I want to have at least two children. A little cow like me and a bull like my daddy. Wait, wait. I think I'm going to have two little cows and one bull. I like girls better. But I'm sure it's better if two girls play with two boys. That's if I have two cows and two bulls. Well, I don't want to have any kids. I can't stand them. They spend all day crying and eating. And then, after eating so much, they don't stop. Oh, well, you know. Huh? Now what? You know, Moo Moo, what babies do all day is sleep, eat, and... <clears throat> I don't understand you, Rita. What's the matter? Do you have a sore throat or something? Let's see, Moo Moo, what you do every day. Well, every day I wake up and I brush my teeth. Yeah, and then you? Well, then I eat a good breakfast. And then you? Well, and then I go play with you. Yeah, and then you... Well, then I eat again. But, Moo Moo, don't you go to the bathroom? Yes, of course, every day. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you, that all day long children are... Oh? <clears throat> doing that. Doing what? Oh, uh, never mind, Moo Moo. I'm going for a walk. Yeah, Rita, I'm sure you're going to... <clears throat> Do that, right? Moo Moo! I was just joking. Wait up, I'll go with you. What are you looking at, Rita? Look at that strange looking thing. What's so strange about it? It's just a rock. That's not a rock, Moo Moo. It's an egg. An egg from what? Well, it could be an egg from a snake, or an egg from a dinosaur. Or from a giraffe. Giraffes don't come from eggs, Moo Moo. We're mammals, just like cows are. Oh, so what do we do with this egg? It's been abandoned, right? If you find an egg in some place, you have to leave it alone, without touching it, and wait for its mother to come and get it. But this one looks like it's been abandoned. That's a good point, Moo Moo. It would be better if we told everyone so we can decide what to do with this egg. Milo! Olga! 
Talalo! Alfred, come over here quick! I've got something incredible to tell you! Mumu and I have found an abandoned egg along the stone path. And do you know what animal it comes from? We don't know, but it's a really big egg! I think I know what animal it comes from. From what, Mumu? I'm convinced it's an egg that came from a cow. But cows don't lay eggs. You're mammals, Mumu. Yes, that's what everyone in the world believes. But I think I know the magic secret. Mm. The secret of what? It's the big secret of cows like me. But I'll tell you more about it another time. Mumu, every day we understand you less. We'd better go and check on that abandoned egg. The egg is right over here. It looks like an egg from a small animal. It looks like a dinosaur egg to me. No way. It came from a cow. It looks like an ostrich egg to me, but I'm not sure. Given my vast experience in the field of animal science, I can deduce that this egg is from... It's moving! Now you'll see there's a cow Look, inside! A leg. And another leg! They're so pretty! How adorable! Oh, I love this! Careful! Oh, how fast it moves! Step on it! Oh. 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 I like turtles. Give me a kiss. We have a new member of the family. Yay! Yay! Rita. What an ugly looking cow, right? When I was little, was I that ugly? Moo Moo, it's not a cow, it's a turtle! I thought there was something strange. Although if you look closely, it does look like a cow. 